Hey everybody, welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me makeup video. Um, today, it's Monday, I have the day off and I really don't have anywhere to go. So I'm gonna do a softer look. I'm just gonna run a few errands. But I didn't have time, I was rushing all weekend so I didn't have time to do a real fancy get ready with me over the weekend so i'm doing it today on my off day now today's i've already primed my face i used um some of my favorites my ole hendrickson this is the banana bright primer it gives me a glow and then of course i use my ulta beauty anti-caking primer only under my eyes and this is a very oily primer it puts a lot of moisture in your skin and I like to not bake, but I like to put powder under my eyes, as you will see. So if you also like that, but you don't want that cakey under the eye look, get this from Ulta Beauty. It's an anti-caking face primer, and I only use it right here under my eyes where I um, put powder, and it doesn't cake. If you Even when I bake sometimes, it doesn't cake. It's smooth. It doesn't get into your creases. This is a game changer. A game changer if you don't like the dryness under your eyes. And I also used a darker color correct today because I feel like the foundation that I'm going to show you today can handle it. And I want to show you today... And also today, I'm going to be brave and do my makeup without my contacts on. <laughs> I pretty much wear my glasses every day, and I do my makeup every day without my glasses on. And I'm used to it, but I haven't filmed makeup without my glasses on. And I hope I'm, like, not, like, Shh. I hope it doesn't get like that. But <laughs> if it does, the video won't go up because that would look awful. But, um... I have a new foundation combination that I wore to church yesterday and it was bomb, especially in photos. And I know, let me explain real quick. I color correct a lot because this is an over 40s video. It can work for people under 42 if you have darkness, but I have like an acne scar there. So I put color correct there. I have a lot of, let's go ahead and get into this without the glasses. I have a lot of darkness under my eyes, so I color correct there. I don't want to look like I have a five o'clock shadow or a mustache, so I color correct over my lip in case it's close to wax time. And then the dark circles on my cheeks, I color correct there. So that's why it's red all over my face. But trust me, with this foundation, it's going to look flawless. Now, a new foundation that came on the market was Juvia's Place. This isn't they do have a stick foundation. I haven't been able to match shades in a stick foundation. I really want to try the stick. But I have their matte foundation. They have a ton of shades from the lightest to the darkest. I love Juvia's Place. This foundation is probably the most full coverage foundation I've ever tried. And it's half the price of some of those <clears throat> high brands that I wear like NARS and... Mac, it's this is around maybe twenty dollars. Check Alta. I didn't price this before the video, but check. It's around twenty dollars, and it's totally worth the money. But for my skin, I can't wear this on its own because it dries down. It's very matte, and I do like a matte look, but I don't like a very matte look. So what I do with this foundation is I mix it with the NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation by NARS. And so I mix these two together and I just do half and half. And the radiance from the NARS mixed with the full coverage matteness of this Juvia's Place. It's like foundation heaven. I can't even, I don't even wear this every day. This is perfect for pictures. Like, it looks good walking around too. It doesn't cake, but I'm telling you, whenever I wear this in my pictures, my make my my skin looks flawless. And you see all this color correct. And my skin is not flawless, but it looks flawless. So let's get into how I do this. So I take my Juvia's Place, 
And this foundation for $20, I bet you this bottle can last a year. You need the smallest amount. I'm going to use a drop, a drop of the Juvia's Place. Now this NARS, I'm going to do a couple of pumps, but that's only because it doesn't pump. Like when you pump normal pumps, you get a nice amount of product. It only gives you like a baby amount. So that's why it seems like I'm going to do a couple of pumps, but you still see this is a, not a lot of foundation and this is going to cover my whole face. And then I get a baby brush. I'm going to blend it in with a blender, but I use the end of a brush just to mix it and get it nice. Get that matte and radiance all mixed together. And like I said, that's not a lot of foundation, but it's going to cover my face flawlessly. Now I'm going to take just Oh, is this gonna work, y'all? I can't see without my glasses. I'm gonna start with my forehead and just wipe off what's on the end of this brush. My damp beauty blender, and I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna try, forgive me, y'all, I can't see. I'm gonna try my best, okay. And just blend this foundation. Oh, I got it in my eyebrows. See, that's what happens. I should have put my contacts on, but I'm down. You all know how it is. Well, maybe you don't know. If you got vision insurance, you know how it is. At the beginning of the year, on January 1st, they're gonna, the insurance is gonna roll over, and I'm gonna get a new $180 worth on my insurance plan to spend on contacts. And I wanna use the insurance money <laughs> instead of my money. So I'm waiting until, I'm waiting until January before I get new contacts. I don't wanna buy my own. So I can rough it out with my glasses for a few more weeks. It's two weeks to January. And you, you can already see, it doesn't look matte, but the cut, wait till I get to these cheeks. You'll see the coverage. You don't need that much. I just dap it all over. Make sure you get the uh, perimeters of your face cause you don't wanna have a halo. And cover y'all. It looks so good. And I'm gonna try to do this fast because no one wants to see me just blend out foundation. Again, I think by the beginning of the year, one of my new hobbies, I'm gonna try to find an editing class and some editing software where I can learn how to do the fancy stuff on my videos so like this part I could speed up and I can slow down where I want to slow down because that's why I tried to do the primer and the color correct off camera because no one wants to know how to do that and see I'm not even I'm almost done with my face and I still got a lot of product left <sighs> you don't need a lot of this and it blends perfectly. Now, if you haven't watched my first over 40 tip, I never put foundation here because I don't want a lot of products under my eyes. This is the most sensitive part of skin on your entire body. And once you get a certain age, I don't know if that's 30, 40, 50, however old you're blessed to not have the wrinkles, but once you get a wrinkle or a crease here, you cannot start to pack on the foundation and the concealer. It will cake up. It will ruin your look. You will wonder. Just dab your ears a little bit, y'all. You don't want your ears to look off color. You don't want it to cake up. So the only thing I put under my eyes is concealer. I never bring my foundation. Make sure you get in the cracks all the way up because I want to try to get the least amount of caking as possible. And I'm going to come in just to make sure because I really can't see. But yes. Yes. So that's the look I had on Instagram yesterday, y'all. NARS mixed with the Juvia's Place. Bam. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit close just to make sure I'm not missing a spot. And okay. Done. Now, my next tip that I like to give 
for anyone who may have a crease. I'm just wiping off <sighs> wasted foundation. But if you have any kind of crease under your eyes, you don't want to put a lot of product there. So a lot of the younger YouTubers will take their concealer. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, another one of my faves. Now, let me tell you what shades I use in case you want to color match. Because I do that with some of my um, YouTubers. It's storming outside too, that's why. I really don't want to go, but I broke my nail. I got to get it fixed. I really don't want to go, but I'm going to go. I watch a lot of YouTubers and I color match with them if I feel like they're my same shade and I'm, they say this is the shade I wear and I'll go out to the store and I try it. And it usually works. I have my favorite YouTuber who I color match with. Her name is Alyssa Ashley. Whatever she wears, I, it matches me. So if you're in that family, I want you to know this is Puna Kana in the Juvia. And this is Tahoe in the NARS. And in the concealer, Lord, I can't see that. I'm going to say the number is medium dark 1.5. I think it's called... Sucre de Orge. I hope I messed that up. But a lot of younger YouTubers make that triangle. They go whoosh. And then they whoosh it up. And then they fill it in. And they're blending concealer <laughs> for days. And God bless them. They probably have the... They don't have any creasing. They have perfect under eyes right now. When you're in your 20s, I had it too. And I'm thankful. But, you know, you have to be grateful for every year you get and i can't do that anymore so what i do with my eyes is i just tap on a little bit of concealer and i don't even put it up there i don't know if you can see that one crease i have right here i don't even place the concealer right there at first because i'm just gonna blend up i'm gonna do that on both eyes i never put i start i tap my concealer down i bring it down my nose just because i want to highlight on my nose i tap a little bit on the forehead to highlight the forehead one tap here on the chin. I don't want my lip to be, they call this the T-zone. I don't want my lip to be darker than my highlights, so I put a little bit here. Just cause that darkness, the shading, it will make it seem like you have a mustache, so do it. And I wanna carve down my nose some. So I put a little bit there. And now we're gonna blend. I use a little baby sponge for my concealer. And when I conceal, I blend down first and I blend up into the side of my nose. Then I work my concealer up in that delicate under eye area. <sighs> Cause I don't want any creasing. And see how that works? I do the same thing for the other side. I blend down because that's where I want my highlight to end. And then I tap it up. I hope this is looking good, y'all, because I can't see Jack. <laughs> and I love a good highlight. And then you want to just come down the nose. You really can't see anything with that lighting on your forehead. You just want to be blended. Just take it across the lip and match it to the nose so it looks continuous. Like a continuous T-zone highlight. And just brighten your chin a little bit. Bam. Now, since I am just going to the grocery store and the nail shop, I'm not going to contour today. I'm going to just put on a little bit of powder under my eyes, set my um under my cheeks, and I'm going to bronze. And then that's going to be the end of part one. So, of course, today I usually use uh, hydrating, but since I'm not... This is my favorite, Huda Beauty and Blondie. This is my favorite powder ever. 
and it's very yellow and since I'm not contouring I just want to have that I just tap it in and I'm I don't want a lot of powder click it off I just want a yellow look an extra yellow set since I'm not contouring watch my husband come down here talking on the phone and I told him I was making a video he better not he does it all the time. He's one of the type of people that when he's talking on the phone, he wants to come around other people. I don't know if it's just to force him to be quiet, but he has the whole upstairs where he could talk and wouldn't have to. It drives me crazy, but he does it all the time. I don't know. Maybe it's a force of habit. But I told him I'm getting ready to make videos, so I hope he continues to work upstairs. Okay. And then I'm just gonna tap a little bit. Under the cheeks, under where I would normally contour. And then wipe it off. Okay, I'm gonna bronze a little bit. Now, I'm finally breaking pan with my Pretty Vulgar bronzer, and I need to find out. I'm going to have to Google where I can buy this, because I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I haven't seen it in Ulta. I haven't seen it in Sephora. So, I love this bronzer, and I want to be a repeat customer, but I don't know where to get it from. And they say this is the cut down. If you have a five head, bring it down. Cut that forehead down. A little bit of bronzer. It also makes you look sun-kissed, especially in this stormy day. Cut out my cheeks a little bit. Do a little bit for the jawline. I have chubby cheeks, I don't care. I can contour all I want, it's not gonna go away. But, bam, I've, that's, that looks good. I'm not gonna say or do anything else. This is gonna be the end of part one of getting ready with me. And get down in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions about any of my tips. Let me know any other looks or tips you may want to know, and I will get to those. Thank you all for watching. Bye.